me, it's true. Yes. Cannibalism is true. Human donor meat is true. Yeah. What what health re reason would stop you from going vegan? Iron deficiency. Oh really? There's no yeah. iron in plants. You would eat a human. If they consent, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's it. it's actually more ethical, isn't it? Yeah. It's not really human meat, is it? This is human meat. It's human yeah. human donor meat. <laughs> You want to try it? What is it? Like it? Human meat. From consenting humans, but it's been processed to make it um, edible without the risk of contracting curry, which is something you get from cannibalism. But this is like, we have about 20 representatives in Australia eh, at the moment. You can read that. You take bites out your arm. Sorry, brother? You bite your own arm and that? Nah. <laughs> nah, nah, because I'm alive. <laughs> but, uh,. Yeah. Where, where do they do it? You want to have a sus, sus mate? Yeah. What do you mean by human meat? Yeah. It's not really human meat, is it? This is human meat. It's human yeah. human donor meat. Okay, what's that mean? It means that people have donated them, their bodies for uh, a good cause, meaning it's better for the environment, better for the animals. Okay, you've got a, you've got a permit to be here and do this, have you? Yeah, yeah, we've, we've checked with Run Them All before. Okay, no, yeah. no, no Okay, it just seems a bit... Because we're not selling anything. Okay. Yeah, we're just... Yeah. We're just uh, just sort of handing out samples. We're not selling. We don't have a restaurant here. We're not selling any okay. products. So you're saying there's human meat in that product? Well, it's uh, it's human donor meat, so it's all completely. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, mate. Yeah, no worries. I've seen your videos on Facebook and that. Have you? Yeah. Ah, oh, so you already know. Yeah. So you're vegan? Nah. So why do you still eat animals? Because everyone else does. You like the taste? No, no, yeah. We'll try this. This is uh, vegan. If you already know I'm a vegan, then. It's uh, Moving Mountains. Uh, where is it? Moving Mountains. It's a vegan burger. You okay about taking a snapshot? Yeah, mate, you can snake. Can it. I tag you on it? Yeah, yeah, you can if you. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, you can if you want. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to. We're not you releasing this. You want to raise it, right? Raise awareness? Yeah. As long as you don't have a, a heaps of followers on uh, Instagram, because we're releasing this later on. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're releasing it in a couple of weeks. Hey, wait, wait, you trying to escape? Take this. <laughs> You're trying to escape. Okay, Go on. Easy, bro. Thank you. No worries, guys. Take care. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really curious. Um, Cause I'm one of those people that wants to go vegan but can't due to health reasons. So I've been keeping my eye out on lab produced meats to be able to swap over to that alternative. So. Oh really? So like what, really what, what health re reason would stop you from going vegan? Iron deficiency. Oh really? There's no yeah. iron in plants? No, well there is. But okay. I don't have the money. For plants? Well, well not for but plants. what about an iron supplement? You can't get an iron supplement? Yeah, I can, but I can't afford to get it regularly. It's just not oh, really? an option for me. No, I don't have a lot of money. Most of my money goes to rent. Oh, um, really? And, but, oh, so, this, so you're interested in human meat? I mean, yeah, I'm interested in alternatives and I try to, you know, um, this, reduce my impact. This, this costs about the same as, uh, this, this human meat co probably end up costing about the same as beef. Mm. Yeah. Is that where you get your iron from usually? Beef? Yeah. Uh, from chicken. cows? From chickens? Yep. There's iron in chickens? Well, yeah. I a get good amount of iron in chickens? And fish, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. And kangaroo meat. You eat kangaroos? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you basically would eat most animals, yeah? No. Just chicken, chicken fish, and kangaroo. Okay. So what we ask at Shoe Meat is well, how do you feel about the fact those animals didn't want to be killed, but these humans were consenting, so yeah, it, that's it's, why I'm it's more ethical. That's why I'm still here. That's oh, why wow. I'm questions. Wow, cool. I want, to move, I want to make the switch to lab meat as soon as it becomes available for that reason. For, for, for iron? Yeah. Have you ever thought, like, because human meat won't be available for a little while, but have you ever thought maybe there's a way of designing a cheap diet with plants that can give, give you the iron until human meat comes out? I'll be honest, dude. I just don't have the mental well-being to be able to go through oh, really? the process of cooking and stuff. Yeah. Oh really? So what do you eat now? Just basically, because you, you have to cook these as well. Yeah, no, I buy pre-cooked meals. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, so I go to a community center that has pre-made meals okay. and get those. All right. But yeah, I've been like looking at alternatives and stuff. Okay, well what if I was to, what if I was just to tell you that I'm, I'm actually trying to get people to think about the, the animals they eat 
by asking if they'd eat human donor meat. I probably would. If you I'm probably being would. Honest. You probably would. But uh, it's it's sort of like um, if these humans give their life, it would be way more ethical than an animal who doesn't want to give their life. Yeah. yeah. That's the, that's the idea. Yeah, but, no, I definitely agree. If someone's consenting to it, then why not? Yeah. Yeah. So, but if they don't consent to it, what would you say to that? What would you say if there were humans that weren't consenting and they were being killed? Oh, no, no. I know, I know it's unethical. And mm. I know that, you know, in participating in eating meat, it is unethical. So I try to reduce my impact where possible. I.e. when I cook red meat, I only get kangaroo meat because it's more sustainable in terms of its farming practices, it's better for the environment, things like that. I reduce my impact where I can until I'm in a financial and mental position to be able to fully go. Oh really? Do you need, do you need help? Uh, if you were to go plant-based, would you need help and guidance, do you think? Like how to do it cheap, how to do it easy, how to yeah. do it without much mental stress, yeah. how to get iron, yeah, Things like that, much. yeah. Because we do offer free help, and it's just it's called Challenge Twenty Two, and they 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 are very good with um. So like, let's just say your situation is very specific. You like you get home, you, you need quick meals, you need iron, uh, you don't like to spend too much time cooking, um, things like that. So they probably be out. They're they're a really good uh, resource that we offer to people who need help. And I also made this. So it shows you how to get fast food and all that as well, if you wanted to. Um, and that's the other thing is when I eat out, I always yeah try and go for a vegan or vegetarian option. Yeah, because like we there's this fantastic mm. app here called Happy Cow, and it finds all the vegan options yeah, near you. Yeah, I do have a lot of friends that are vegan, and yeah, yeah, I'm quite often talking to them. It's just yeah, it's one of those things where I just yeah don't have the mental and social needs, I guess. But I get it. You yeah. you might in a bit of a position. But I always look at it from like, you, there's a couple of perspectives to look at it. You can look at it from, if you watch what happens to animals, I don't know if you have, yeah. they're suffering greatly and they're being slaughtered against their will. Yeah. So when, when, when I always think of it, like sometimes it's a little bit difficult for me to find things, not really, because I've been doing it for a long time, I just know where everything is. Yeah. But like at the start it might have been, right? But then I just saw pigs in gas chambers being murdered, cows being stabbed in the throat, draining out of their blood and stomach being pulled onto the slaughterhouse floor. And I thought, well, this, this inconvenience for me is nothing compared to what these poor beings have to go through throughout my entire life mm. to feed me when I can just yeah. eat plants, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's why I try and yeah make changes where I can until I get to a point where it's like, okay, I can do this and it's easy and it's... Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. You sound like you... We already know that. Most people don't think eating meat is unethical. I mean, I definitely think it's unethical because they can't consent. That's why the eggs I eat are ex-battery chick eggs from my neighbour because yeah. they have their battery chips and then that way, you know, it's ethical consumption and just sort of, yeah, trying to change my thinking with it and just like, I'm not in a position where in my life I can go fully vegan, so it's more just looking at, you know, what changes can I make to help. You might surprise life. yourself, you know. Mm. You could really surprise yourself because once you, like if you don't have the hows properly, you might think that, mm. but like I've been vegan riding across the South Australian desert on my bike in service stations, mm. getting cans of beans in this and that, like, you know, like it's pretty, once you have those tools, yeah. you'd be surprised how easy it is. Yeah, you know, and, and how that's much... what I mean. I'm at that point where I'm trying to, I guess, build up that skill set. <laughs> yeah, it's human donor meat, mate. Oh, what do you mean? Like these, the, these humans were consenting oh, no, to, no. to give their bodies. What kind of meat is that? It's human. Yeah, human beings. They give it to they give it to this organisation uh, to help the animals in the planet. That's, 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 that's beef, right? No, human beings that's, like that's it's human bicep, beings. Uh, thigh. Wow. Well. Would I be able to try some? I'm just so curious. That's just wild, isn't it? Have you seen the movie Soil and Green? Soil and Green. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's it. <laughs> Did it turn you vegetarian that movie? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, if it's actually, I'll tell you what it is because I will tell you the secret that it's actually a vegan burger. Oh. It's a moving mountains burger. No shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm tricking people with it's not actually Brilliant. human meat. Yeah. Social experiment? Yep. Thank That's you. one of those. That actually tastes really good. There you go, you can take some. Oh my god. I just got them. Yeah.
I genuinely... Like, it's got that slight taste to it, but... I would eat Bit of sauce and cheese, uh, vegan cheese on top, and it's uh, really good. I like the Beyond Burgers, they're a bit more expensive. These were four bucks a packet on special, but there's some, uh, you can find pretty good, uh, good ones that are pretty, you know, cost effective. I mean, if you go on Macca's, you're probably paying five bucks for a burger, you probably get a pack of these for five bucks. Yeah, I reckon I might swap out my regular burgers for these ones. And if you can find them on, on sale, sort of thing, reduced price, they're pretty good. But uh, right, you should check out that uh, Challenge 22. They yeah, will no, they give you a lot Thank of help. You for the time no to worries. Chat to me. No worries. Good. Take care. So, like actual human meat or? Human donor meat. So. so the humans were like, yes. So, you can do oh, that. let me and just uh, let me just like, ask you something. Do you eat non-human animals? You don't eat non-human animals. Do you eat non-human animals? It's okay if you do. A lot of people eat non-human, like pigs no, and cows and chickens and fish. Like There's probably yeah. animals in there. So no, no, nah, nah, monsters it. fine. Well, I ask people if they, you know, if they're not a vegan, right? Non-human animals are getting killed in the dairy industry, the egg yeah. industries, the meat industries, fishing industries, and they don't consent. But, like, these human beings do consent. So it's not actual human meat? Well, it's, it is. But it doesn't look like human meat. It should be a different texture. No, this has been processed so that it, uh, so that's fit for human consumption. Yeah. So would you Where eat would a human? Yeah. yeah. You would eat a human? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's it. it's actually more ethical, isn't it? Yeah. To eat a consenting human. And it's supposed to be like a pizza. It's supposed to taste really good. But let me just show you this because uh, we're about to pack up anyway. But there are just uh, there are moving mountains, plant-based burgers, and we're teaching people about why we shouldn't exploit and murder animals against their will. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's more like a social experiment thing yeah. to see if people will eat Get, humans. Yeah, well, like consenting humans, seeing as they're happy to eat animals that are murdered against their will for them, you know, because yeah, we are like. Like someone was saying something about cannibalism, it's like, you're a monster, this and that, but we are like monsters to the animals, and what we do to them, just so we can take I from their bodies. If people give permission, then it's fine to eat a human. Oh, I, I, I think it's completely fine too. I think it's not morally problematic to eat a consenting human. Yeah. I, I, I think it's disgusting, I wouldn't do it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's not unethical. Yeah. Like, it's, but animals don't consent to anything that happens to them. They get tortured, they get raped in the dairy industry to yeah. produce milk and their calves are taken and murdered and they get turned into leather jackets and it's horrible, tested it's on. <laughs> no, that's all right, I, I can tell. Sorry, we're judging you. You're wearing one of my animal friends now. <laughs> but like, we're happy to do that to non-human animals because we see them as, well, I don't, but I'm talking about the collective human race, yeah. see them as so inferior it's just like this speciesist mindset towards them. You know, it's like racism, but like speciesist. They're just like, they can be trampled on and murdered and you know, it's totally fine. But even a human that can sense they won't eat. Cause humans are so special and that's weird. We can't eat, you know? I imagine it would just be different. I don't know if it's too different. Well, cannibals say it tastes like pork. Yeah, there you go. I mean, online it's like pork with a beef-like consistency. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> you sound really interested in cannibalism. <laughs> I've researched. Don't look at my arms. They're my arms. <laughs> you haven't said I can eat you, so I'm no, not no, going to. That's no, weird. No. That's like probably illegal. <laughs> I mean, we cause so much violence to animals. We cause so much environmental uh, uh, destruction. You know what I mean? Like, and we use these excuses like we should cull animals that are overpopulating. Well, like humans are overpopulated. No, yeah. Sure. We could just cull humans. Yeah, or we, we could just. A, we don't need a jail. Or we could just all be vegan and stop feeding all our resources to animals, torturing them, killing them, destroying that them. That doesn't solve the overpopulation issue with humans. It solves a resource issue. Like, it solves a resource issue, but it doesn't solve the overpopulation, which has a significant impact as well. But it does end the animal holocaust, doesn't it? Yeah, which is good. Cool. Which is good. Yeah. We don't want holocausts on <laughs> Earth, even if they're non-human animals being yeah. murdered. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, you want to take one of these? Because I'm about to pack up this. just plant-based burgers. They're cool. Um, yeah, and th there's a pamphlet that will help you be vegan. Cause, Thank you. Oh, you can have one too. Um, this is a great app, like for when you're around. It's just a fine vegan restaurants. We're not asking for money. This is just a little guide for you. Oh, thank you. Thank All you. Right. Appreciate that. Have Take care. Day. No worries. See you later. All right, so there we go. Human meat, a new innovation. Human donor meat. I wonder if that'll ever be a thing. Hope not. But uh, yeah, or you could just go to the shop to get a plant-based burger. <laughs> would be much easier and uh, yeah, less weird, that's for sure.